CQ, CQ. This is W9GFO. Is anybody out there? Don't you know people need to see what I've seen? They need to see. This is the way it's been done for billions of years. Small moves are. last thing you said to me in our Skype chat was that I should take care and take risks and this is uh, a risk. About two months now it's been that um, you started communicating with me and um, I have two months worth of promises you've made about, um, well, like doing a collaborative video with me and uh, the potential to work on projects with you, um, I'm really scared. You see, uh, my experience is that when popular YouTubers say things to you, you just say, you just don't say anything except agree with them. Because if you question any, if my experience is, is if I question them or um, ask for some accountability or very politely request some respect. Or uh, some accountability or something, anything, um, it can end very badly and very painfully. So, this is really a hard video for me to make, okay? I know that you have. Um, a family member who is um, chronically very ill and with a life-threatening condition and that you need to do some serious maintenance about that because the family member is young and really can't um, do the maintenance of that health condition themselves. I get that. I believe me. I respect that. I understand that. I also know that you are involved in projects up one side and down the other and that those projects are how you keep a roof over your head and take care of that child and yourself and the rest of your family and I understand there's been a death in your family recently. I understand that you just got done with Minecon and then you got another project brewing probably well I can't say because I have viewers um, with a lot of other people and that it's a big deal and that you're really excited about it. Um, and I also need you to hear that I've been waiting for two months uh, and trying to be really patient and you need to know that a person that doesn't have much money and who lives in a high-risk situation um, uh, being patient is a lot more of a risk than it is for some of you publicly on Twitter suggested that we do a uh, video collaboration together and I gotta tell you I've been in this Minecraft stuff for about four years now and I don't do it for money I don't even monetize my channel because I'm I can't control what commercials are on the dang thing and I don't want to um, I don't want kids to come and watch my videos and hear that they're ugly and stupid and need to spend money on something ridiculous or uh, they won't be good people you know uh, what I would like to do if it's at all possible is earn a little bit of money as a builder now I've been told by some people who know stuff that I'm a good builder and that's the reason I believe it because they told me I didn't know I was a good builder you called me an artist 
I've grubbed my whole life working in factories and um doing scut work and dangerous work and dirty, filthy work for hardly any money at all. My whole life. I never earned more than five dollars an hour. Ever. In my entire life, I never earned more than five dollars an hour. And then here you come along and you get it that I'm an artist. Do you also know that I've been putting up YouTube videos about Minecraft EDU and following EDU players since, well, probably the whole time? And the block by block program so that kids in developing countries can learn Minecraft and computing so that they can build community spaces for their, for wherever it is they live. Do you know that I take this game more seriously probably than Dinnerbone and Jeb and maybe Boo Boo or whatever his name is? Do you know that I get that this game can transform people's lives? Do you know that I want that into, to include everybody, no matter their race, their disability, their gender, their sexual orientation, their class? Do you know that I believe that we don't know who the next little genius is going to be? And we don't, this game should not exclude anybody. And the players should not bully anybody or be role models that suggest that some people are better than others just because of the configuration of their bodies. Do you know how committed I am to that? Do you know that while you're talking about risks and stuff, do you know that I have literally been cyber stalked and threatened and tortured for believing in that? Uh, By people who ought to know uh, better, you know, people who do this for a living. Do you know that my disabilities have been an excuse to dismiss me as useless? And my sexual orientation, which I haven't even told anybody what it is. But just the fact that they know it might be different than theirs. Do you know that people in this game have broken my heart consistently and I still come back with no money, no equipment, until recently, my gosh, even on the TEI server, I was getting... I managed to come in second in a Hunger game with 9 FPS. And I got the guy down to a half a heart before he managed to kill me. I don't want to be rich. I just would like a toilet to flush it. I've told you this. So there hasn't been a collab. And I know there's good reasons why. But I would just like people to talk to me, you know, to tell me what's going on, not shut me out, and leave me to worry that there's something horrible about me, completely unacceptable about me, that I'm not even worthy of being talked to. I, um, it causes me a lot of pain. And you've made promises to me. You've, um... Recently, you promised a schematic of some of my work on one of the servers you developed. And you said I'd have it today, and I don't. It's been two months. And I still don't know if I will ever be able to afford to move out of here and live someplace safe and healthy. I'm not safe and healthy here. I got food poisoning, and I've been very sick for the last couple of days. And you know, without running water, when you've got food poisoning, that's a real I nightmare. I love this game. And I know what it can do. I've built things. I seldom have access to a world edit. I've never had access to Voxel Sniper. I'm just now starting to... I'm not even going to tell you how I managed to use Binvox and SketchUp to be able to start putting 3D models together. But see, the server where I'm, I need the 3D models, I can't access those people either. Again, for two months. 
My work is standing still on that Native American map. Can't do anything because I can't get in contact with any of them. And they too, you know, they've got a real sick kid and um, they just went to Minecon and geez. And now one of them's got a really sick father. And they're working on a big project with you. And I read all about it on Twitter and I see the photographs and now this new project, everybody's so excited and I know what it is and I'm not going to say it here because, you know, my, my viewers, it's, I know it's private, you know, I know it's not for public consumption. Well, it's not private, it's going to be public, but it's not ready for public consumption yet. I know what it is and oh my gosh, I, oh, you know I'd work for free, right? You know I'd work well and I'd work hard and I'd work for free just to be part of that, right? So I see everybody talking on Twitter. And it's the tortures of Tantalus. It's right there in front of me and I can't get to it. I have to do something about food. I'm gonna die if I don't watch out. I better snag some chickens. What the heck just... Did you see that fly through the air? Or was that a bug on my monitor? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. So just understand that you told me we really liked your build. Who is we? And I asked you which build did you did you like? I think it was my dream catcher, but I've been doing this for four years. I haven't been doing this since Alpha or Beta or whatever, you know? I wouldn't even own this game if a friend hadn't have bought it for me. Now listen, after 30 years of thinking that I'm just lazy and not trying hard, um, I finally have a solid diagnosis that, yeah, not a suspicion that maybe you have, but really I have multiple sclerosis. And it's attacking my vision. Now, I'm a real resourceful, smart person, and I can invent a lot of stuff. But I cannot invent a new pair of eyes to be able to play this game. But, you know, I don't have running water, and I don't have a toilet. I use an old trick-or-treat bucket lined with a shopping sack. And then sneak it out and throw it in the dumpster. I can't take showers. I'm not safe here. I'm surrounded by some pretty scary people. I mean, you know, it's a low-income housing place and it has attracted... There's a lot of people that don't want credit checks, you know what I mean? And um, they don't want people knowing where they live. And my landlord's a shady character. My I'm surrounded by a lot of cruelty. All the time. And I deal with it. And no, I, you know, despite the rumors to the contrary by some middle-class um, people in Minecraft who don't know anything about what it's like to really be living in poverty, unlike their prejudices and their stereotypes of who I am, I am not feeling sorry for myself. I really, really struggle. And I get really, really scared, and I have so few resources and I'm so vulnerable because I can't protect myself from other people's stupidity. Um, so I need you to hear that um, the promises really hurt. Um. I thought, when you and I connected, I thought, oh, good, finally, somebody gets me. Somebody understands that I'm for real. And that the work I do is useful and important, because I really believe it is. And it doesn't hurt me because of my ego that people aren't seeing my videos. It's because... 
I have messages about you are good. You are a good person and you deserve to be treated with respect. I think the messages that I tell my viewers and the things that I believe in, I think they're important. I know they're important. And I think that a lot of kids don't get much of that. And I have it to offer, and I've done it consistently. What's important to me is education. What's important to me is giving people an opportunity to learn interactive digital technology. This is a foundation for what things are going to be like later in the 21st century, long after I'm dead. It teaches kids to be self-sufficient. It teaches them stuff that's missing in the modern technological age where everybody's protected so much that they don't even know where food comes from. Um, the creativity of it, the basic programming that they're learning, the art, the architecture, these things are so important. They're values that I hold very dear, and I think not to do, you know, I see a lot of, I see a lot of his childhood in Sweden in this. So, this is a big risk because, you know, I've alienated a lot of people. Not because I'm trying to be a troublemaker or, you know, or, I'm not. I'm trying to make things better for people who are marginalized. I'm not trying to make things worse for people who have already have privilege you know I'm not trying to take away their privilege I'm just trying to make a more level f playing field for the kids who don't have that I want them to have some place safe where they're wanted and there are some people in this game who do not create safe space and who make people feel very unwanted including me so here's the risk I respect you and the work you're doing. And I'm not telling you that to get over on you or to score points. Or I really do. You're doing the work I've always dreamed of doing. You're doing the work that I value. I think I've earned my place. I think that I've proven that I can do stuff. I work hard in in um without world edit, without you should see some of the stuff I've built. Monumental things that other people had to use um voxel sniper and stuff to create. I would love to learn voxel sniper, but I've got no place and nobody will help me figure out a way and I don't know how to do I don't know how to do any of that stuff, and because of my brain injuries and my memory and my vision and the fact that I don't understand the technical language that, like, oh, you know, Bucket and Tecket and those people use, I've tried and tried and tried to learn how to do this stuff, and I can't. I have limits. It's not that I'm not trying hard. You don't know how hard I try. It's that there's some things that I can't do. And I need help. You know, like, there's this thing with Skype where you can record your screen or whatever. Broadcast your, this, your, your monitor. What you're seeing on your computer monitor. So other people can see it. And they can tell you, go here, go there. Because it's so hard for me to see things on the monitor. And talk me through processes so that I can do them. I've done everything I've done alone. I've had real heartbreaks with people on servers because I have disabilities and they accuse me of being self-pitying or making excuses or whatever ridiculous junk they want to believe about me. I'm crying and I'm sad, but I'm not full of self-pity. I work harder than just about anybody I know. That's a fact. That's not an exaggeration. That's a fact. 
But you don't do everything you do all alone. You collaborate with people. You collaborate with some really cool people who do really good work. I want to do that. You're working on this project right now. There's something on there that I can volunteer to help with. I know it. Yes, I'm inviting myself someplace where I haven't been welcomed. <sighs> so. Here's what I need. I need you to honor the promises you've already made. Or I need you to stop making promises. Pure, plain, and simple. I need that. I need that. Because this is tearing me up. And I think it's me that there's something that wrong with me. you don't really want anything to do with me and that you're sorry you got suckered into believing in me. And, you know, that's what I do to myself when this stuff happens. That you're really sorry you got involved with me and you... Wish you hadn't, and I'm even afraid to ask. I'm afraid to say, is everything okay? Are are we are we are we good? I don't know how to read you. I don't know. I don't know if your silence means that you've given up on me or if it just means you're completely overwhelmed or I don't know what it means Lord you don't even know how much this game means to me and the potential it has you don't even know You go through my portfolio, you go through my full, my, um, my, um, videos, you'll see. You'll see, I've been one of the biggest fans of this game since day one. I swear I believe in it more than even Notch or Dinner Bone or any of them. I swear I do. And I see more usefulness in it. I... Well, out here in this little old pedunk town where people think the world is only 5,000 years old and human beings walk with dinosaurs. No, I'm not kidding. They really believe that. Where They'd be terrified of me if they knew who I really was. And I'm terrified of them. I'm afraid they'll find out who I really am. You know? These people wear guns to the grocery store, dude. They're so judgmental and cold. When I go anywhere in this town, people people keep each other under surveillance in this town, especially me because I'm an outsider. Um, they they watch each other very closely, you know, and it's really creepy. People are scrutinizing me all the time in this town, and people are scrutin me, scrutinizing me all the time when I'm on Minecraft. Everybody's got problems. You're not really poor. It was the bootstrap kind of talk. You know, you're not trying hard enough. Stiff upper lip. I'd just gotten a new computer after months and months and months in hopes that maybe I would get more than 15 FPS. Because I was playing on a laptop with a built-in graphics card and it would get too hot and, you know... And she humiliated me in front of her viewers, and I had to cut her off. And she's part of a group of people I really wanted to be part of. But, And I'm sure the gossip got back that I'm full of self-pity, and I'm a malingerer, and I'm not trying hard. People have slammed doors in my face with such ruthlessness. Literally called me trash. <coughs> Like, you can just dispose of a human being if they're inconvenient to you. And I'm not inconvenient. You know, I pull my own weight. I do my own work. I'm not inconvenient to anybody. And I could be very useful if people would just, like, give me room to breathe and let me do what I do well without interference and obstacles, without cyber-stalking and attempts to 
dox me and I've been really terrorized by some people involved in this game, you know, really terrorized. My viewers on my channel can tell you some of it. Really terrorized. Because I can build by hand stuff that people on a certain famous YouTuber's channel, they built stuff by Voxel Sniper. I came onto the server and saw the stuff around spawn and went, holy... I'm going to have to be a really good builder, and I built this huge, enormous thing that went from build height to um, bedrock and was uh, 201 by 201, and I built it by hand and creative. And by the time they terrorized me off the server and convinced that YouTuber that I was a bad person um, and greased my build... So by the time they got they got me to the point where I had to leave the server, 85 people on that server were volunteering to come work on that project all the time. I worked on that for seven months, completely voluntarily to prove myself. I worked on it seven hours a day for seven months. And instead of that hard work being appreciated, it was perceived as a threat to the build team, so-called leader. And I had to be made an example of and run off the server. They had to grief that build that 85 kids had worked on. And I spoke up and said, if you have a problem with me, deal with me. Don't take it out on the kids. And that made me the quote-unquote troublemaker. And on server since... Oops, I did the wrong thing, didn't I? On server since, I've been told stuff about that I'm only pretending that I'm vision impaired. I'm not trying hard enough. Um, the junk I've heard about myself from people who don't know anything about me and who had to put judgments against me and justify their hatred and call me trash and lazy and a welfare cheat and anything else they could think of to um, stigmatize me. I don't know how much longer my vision will be any good. I just don't know. I. Before I die, I want to be able to take hot showers. I want a toilet that flushes. I want a roof that doesn't leak. I want a floor that isn't so cold in the winter that I get frostbite on my feet. I, I'm a hard worker. And I'm committed and I'm dedicated and I put my heart into it. I need a chance. I need people to actually really believe in me. Be willing to be seen with me. Be willing to, I don't know, like my videos or comment on them or share them on Twitter. I need people to invite me to collaborations and projects. You say I'm an artist. I um, ask you to go read Alice Walker's essay In Search of Our Mother's Gardens where she talks about, in her case, African-American women but basically poor women who don't have opportunities for artistic expressions and have the most outrageous gardens. Well... Minecraft is my garden. And I've done some pretty outrageous and spectacular and colorful and creative and beautiful things with it. With bad internet and poor connections and no upload speed and no download speed. You know, you're on rural internet. I'm no slacker, sir.
I'm good. You know, that famous YouTuber actually said, I'm a fantastic builder. First time anybody ever said that to me, and I was blown away. Please, look, I'm going to say something that might really make you mad and alienate you from me and really hurt your feelings, but I'm in a lot of pain over here, and I need to take care of myself, and you told me to take risks. So I'm going to tell you the truth. One of the most painful things that people who have, you don't have much privilege, I can tell, but people who have a little bit of privilege can do to people like me is to make them promises because it makes them feel better to have promised. Um, if you don't follow through, uh, it doesn't help me. In fact, it um, um, causes me injury because you got to understand that all through my life, I get told all day, every day when I step outside my door and a lot of places when I'm on the internet too, I get told all the time that I'm not good enough, that I'm not worthy. That I don't deserve hot water. I don't deserve for my slumlord to talk to me with any respect when he's getting about a third of my income or more per month to live in a parking lot. But I don't deserve my civil rights. And I get told that all the time. I don't deserve not to have some dingus break my bed because they don't know anything about survival but only about building maps. And then blame me for it because they broke my bed. But I don't deserve any better than that. I don't deserve any better than to hear jokes about disabilities. And then if I say, hey, that's not cool, get to hear that I've got no sense of humor or that, you know, like I've violated their freedom of speech. And the same thing about LGBT stuff, the same thing about being female, the same thing about being poor, the same thing about people of color. Anybody whose bodies aren't exactly like theirs, you know, are not treated with respect. And I stand up to it because it, I believe, I believe in the rights of everybody to play and work and live without harassment, without being told that they don't belong. I believe. And because I believe, it hasn't been easy. In fact, it's been really painful. I know you don't have an easy life. And I know you work hard. I know. And I'm not asking for a handout here. I'll work for free, dude. I will work for free. And start all over again, proving myself. I can't work on my... Uh, a uh, Native American map because I need help from them and they're all up to their eyeballs and stuff. <clears throat> I'm tired. <clears throat> I don't want to just tread water. I want to get someplace with this. I want people to hear what I'm saying. Not because I'm so important, but because the messages I'm telling people, those are important messages. You're good enough. You can. You're creative. You know, you have a place in the future of the world. Those messages are important, and kids need to have them. You are not a you are not a factory object. You have more value than just as a commodity. Kids need to hear this stuff, dude. You know when this. that Philippines thing happened the last what was it a typhoon? Um, I started researching. Minecraft in the Philippines and you know there's a real active Minecraft community in the Philippines and I showcase some of the builds and trying stuff. really hard not to say put up or shut up but you're breaking my heart this way I can't eat promises I can't eat um, good ideas that don't actually happen I need stuff to be real and true I'm not saying you're lying to me but I'm saying that I'm so way down on your priority list that I get lost in the shuffle. My ego isn't damaged by any of that. I don't expect to be anybody But important. it's really torture to see 
weeks go by and I still nothing's any better. When you suggested that collab, and it was your idea, it wasn't mine. When you suggested that collab, you know that I immediately, that we go around a creative server together and talk about creativity. You know, I immediately started researching creativity. So I could talk about it with some kind of, I don't know, intelligence to my viewers. Not to impress you, but for my Something viewers. I've done has impressed you, and I don't know why, but... You've got to hear that I still... I have food poisoning. Right this minute. And I never know <laughs> when I will have food poisoning. Because I can't trust the local stores to sell me food that's wholesome. And I can't go to a town where I can shop where I'm pretty sure the food won't hurt me. And I always have to buy the stuff that's marked down to get rid of it because the date's going up. That's all I ever eat is the stuff that's about to get thrown away. You know, I live surrounded by small, mean, petty people that scare me. It's the same pain I felt. I used to live in a little town called Pacific Grove, California. Go look it up. Um, I just got real lucky and was able to move there for a while and I had a job and an income for a while and I could afford it for a while and then all that fell apart because I got too sick to work and I was homeless. It was two weeks before Christmas and the town looks like a courier and I was picture postcard it's so cute and it's right by the ocean and there's otters and whales and the monarch butterflies migrate there and she's this beautiful little town and tiny little gingerbread Victorian houses all lit up and Christmas coming and cold and damp and foggy outside and warm and cozy and cheerful inside and there I was walking on the streets and seeing the light and the warmth coming from inside the windows. That's how I feel right now. All around me, people are having fun and laughing and hanging out with each other and doing cool stuff. And I can see them and I know what's going on. And I'm not part of it. I'm not begging for charity. I'm asking not to be forgotten. I'm asking to be included because I sincerely believe I've earned the right to be included. To be given a chance. I sincerely believe that. I've paid my dues. But you know what they say, if if people were wealthy because of hard work, then most of the women in the developing world would be millionaires. It's not about hard work. It's about connections and networking and being protected by privilege and being respected and taken seriously. I need that chance. Before I go blind, Before somebody out here with a gun manages to take me out. I've already been beaten up twice in this town. And I will never be respected here because I'm a stranger. Please, please, please. Give me a chance to prove myself. I know I can. <laughs> Let me have the opportunity to show people what I can do. You don't even have to believe in me. Just let me have some space and some opportunity. I'm Granny know? Gamer 1. And I hug you. But my arms don't bend. Bye.